sharing a few thoughts with you. First, I want to thank the mayor and the entire borough council here for this opportunity, for your leadership and your support throughout the years here at the borough. Public service is a calling. It is an interesting, tough, lively, and incredibly rewarding experience. Working in local government especially provides a rare and unique opportunity to affect change. You see firsthand project milestones achieved, residents you impact, and the environment shift around you before your very eyes. As local leaders, you're responsible for a universe of influence. We must provide safe, effective, responsive services, and we do this to enhance the health and welfare of our community and drive it forward. I remember the first day of my internship very vividly here at Burrow Hall. On June 18, 2007, I walked through the door of the third floor administrative suite and was greeted by the late Ray Bechtel. He was the projects coordinator and handled the airport here for the borough. The first thing he told me was to settle down. He said, have a cup of coffee. You seem really excited. I guess it was just natural. Uh, I came into this as a Pottstown resident, a high school alum, and a recent graduate in political science. I was hungry, my eyes were wide open. You see, growing up in Pottstown was one of my life's greatest gifts. Pottstown is a community rich in history, built on industry, innovation, and throughout the years has endured a severe shift in the American economy. We have changed, but we're gonna be okay. Regardless, Pottstown forges ahead. In Pottstown, in despite of challenge, we continue to adapt, improve, and endure. And I learned at a very young age to be resilient. What I've found is that resilience breeds determination. It actually draws you to others, binds a community, and it actually, through the successes and failures, prepares you for anything life can throw at you. I wanted to be part of something bigger than myself. And I learned very quickly working in Pottstown, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to start. There are many defining moments that stay with you as you chart your course in life. And throughout my time working at the borough, I remember uh, touring the Steel River Playhouse, then it was the Tri-County Performing Arts Center. When the renovations just started, I remember I walked through the front entrance and I was there for a tour, and I went to the vestibule and I saw the exposed steel beams that they had preserved. They had the stamped Bethlehem steel on them. My grandfather, Robert Weekly, he worked uh, at Bethlehem Steel. He was also a fantastic artist. He was a performer. He uh, actually performed at Sunnybrook Ballroom, recorded a, a music album right here in Pottstown. The fact that the Playhouse chose to preserve that history and honor Bethlehem Steel goes to show what we say, Pottstown, proud of our past, confident in our future. We mean it. It's the people behind projects like this that help advance Pottstown's revitalization. And it's this type of inspiration, which I've witnessed time and time again, that has led my work here. Throughout my time with the borough, I've worked alongside some of the bravest community members and staff I have come to know. And here's what I've learned. I've learned that public transit is not just running buses. It is providing an equitable means for our society to mobilize, and we are lucky to have that here. I've learned that the Potsdam Municipal Airport services local veterinarians to rescue injured animals, to support commerce in our region. I've come to appreciate how the borough and our efforts to install bike lanes, develop parks, improve our downtown, improve traffic conditions, repair sidewalks, work on street lights, plant trees, this all tackles a much bigger picture. Pottstown is making land use decisions that will improve the health and wellness and future of our region. It'll help you get your job more safely, go to school, to connect with your environment, reduce your carbon footprint, and become more sustainable. I've learned that projects sometimes take months or they take 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> but I've learned through the staff here at the borough that you must remain fiercely persistent on your goal. It is worth it. I've learned that collaboration is the key to Pottstown's success, and I've witnessed the great strides of community come together through Pottstown Cares, Rock the Block, Hobart's Run, Pottstown and Focus Film Festival, Walk and Bike Pottstown, and I'm really only scratching the surface. 
I've learned that leadership is not position. It's rather a state of mind. It's a practice exercised daily by borough staff, by borough organizations, and our residents. We give to our community day in and day out. I will miss you greatly. Okay. I want to thank those of you who challenged me and those who believed in me, but for the most part, for the people that came to the table with a solution-oriented perspective, a proactive attitude who wanted to get the job done. I have decided to move on because I need to be the best leader possible. If I've learned anything from Borough Manager Mark Landers, uh, and I've learned a great deal, I have learned to lead with intention and purpose. The most important thing in life is what you cannot hold or see. They are the values you learn and they're the values you share that make up the leader you become. Wake up every day with gratitude and know your part in society. I'm so thankful to be a part of Pottstown Story for the time that I have invested. I can't tell you how lucky I am to have a job that makes this so difficult. Farewell Pottstown, I will miss you. Serve others always. <laughs>